but ultimately, uh, what we're trying to build uh, is a long-term sustainable business that can accrete in value significantly. And that means a lot more than just winning or losing at the pitch. That's important right. uh, as a brand, as a media property, as a, as a, as a team, as a club. Uh, but we're also trying to establish and build or put in place the right building blocks to have a great business, you know, kind of in three years, five years, seven years. And a lot of the work that we're doing is behind the scenes trying right. to do just that. But ultimately, uh, what we're trying to build uh, is a long-term sustainable business that can accrete in value significantly. And that means a lot more than just winning or losing at the pitch. That's important right. uh, as a brand, as a media property, as a, as a, as a team, as a club. Uh, but we're also trying to establish and build or put in place the right building blocks to have a great business, you know, kind of in three years, five years, seven years. And a lot of the work that we're doing is behind the scenes trying right. to do just that. Savvy so Roy, up the Chels, up the Minnows FC. Big up to every single one of you live and locked in. Hope everyone's doing well, winning in life. First and foremost, guys, when you're all a smash to pieces, that like button, if you haven't smashed it already, smash it right now. Smash it like you don't want them Birkin bags. Save it right. If you haven't subscribed, Minnows FC as well, I want you all a smash that subscribe button. We're on the road and we're getting closer and closer to the 10K. So big up to every single one supporting this channel, mate. Respect to everyone. We've got the notification bell, ding dong, let's have it right, all that jazz, so make sure you do smash that so you know when we go live, because as we know, YouTube uh, and the Brown Envelope Matrix likes to play games with the Minnows FC, and uh, it's for obvious reasons, because we're the truth tellers. We don't lie, we call it out for what it is, and uh, no one wants that, do they? It's like the entire entire media world, bruv, no one wants the truth, everyone wants the Brown Envelope lies. Well, we, we expose that all day long. Um, so let's have it right. Hit that notification button. Also, we've got the Minnows FC Ultras membership, which is down below in the description, as is the Minnows FC Extra channel. So make sure you do smash that like and subscribe button on the Extra channel and have a butchers at the Minnows FC Ultras membership as well. Big up to everyone in here. Salute to all the Minnows FC Ultras, bruv. Love to everyone supporting the channel, as always, guys. But let's have it right. We had to do an introduction on that because, funny enough, today, everyone is pump pumping that down the timeline. Where was it when I brought up months and time ago? Where was it when I recently put it up? And it's only now people are starting to wake up and understand what, what these clown lakes are all about. It's clear as day. They said it. They said it when they bought the club. And it's literal. It's as literal as you like. So let's have it right. Everyone, keep pushing it out. Keep tweeting it out. Keep retweeting it. Whatever you want to do, comment, whatever you like. Make sure we keep forcing the true narrative out because it's finally come to this point where we are getting more and more platforms landing the damn minerals. We've got more and more people seeing the truths coming to light. And the, 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 the truth is coming to fruition to everyone. You know what I'm saying? Apart from the supporters that actually know what's going on and see it with their own two eyes, they know exactly what's happening at Chelsea. But it's very important that the narrative gets pushed out there and it continues and it's sustainable. Let's make sure it's sustainable, that the true narrative is sustainable. Let's have it right. None of this brown ever like waffle. No, it's bangers and mash waffle. No onions, no gravy, lumpy hard mash, burnt as you like, no lure pack. Let's have it right. Yeah? None of that. True. True narrative. We, uh, we have to land it as it is. And we have to keep the pressure on these clown lakes. Because let's have it right. I told everyone, they're not going to change their model. They ain't going to change it. The only thing that changes this model is an elite gaffer. You sack these two mid-directors in Carrie Wins, Stanley Stewart Little, and you get an elite director. One will do, thank you very much. One elite gaffer with his backroom team. One elite director, and you work together and you sort everything and fix everything that is on the pitch. Because what you have put on that pitch is an absolute disgrace. It's shadow of Chelsea Football Club. It's not Chelsea. And we stand by that. Let's have it right. Big up to everyone in here. Respect to everyone. Um, so we're going to start off. We're going to start off with, I need to clear up a lot of things on here. 
I need to clear up a lot of things. Because people in the fan base, a lot of them are asking too many fucking stupid questions. They're asking questions when the answers are all there for them. So it's creating a, a, a question and answer situation to make the fan base discuss because they're too scared to land it for what it is. That's what I'm saying. All right. People are too scared to go in as hard as we do on the Minnows FC. But we don't give a shit. We land it. We're not here for paydays. We're not here for brown envelopes. We're here to land it because we love our football club. And that's always going to be the case. And it always will be, bro. Forever carefree up the chills. So have it right. So let's bring this up straight away because I think this one is, is one of the key, the key factors of exactly what we are seeing. And this was put out a long time ago. And we've already called this out. In fact, we've been calling this out for over a year. Do you know we did um, Gaffer changes the model, um, the clowns, the clowns have killed Chelsea. Uh, how many titles, man? You go through all the titles. How many times we exposed the clown owners, bruv? How many streams we done reacting to them, landing the damn minerals? Yeah. Well, let's put this one up right now. This is Siri Merchant. He says he. Tony Bloom spends 10% of the payroll, wins almost as much as those who spend far more, and has a very stable, mid-market, mid-table, very profitable club. That's all we hear. The thing is, he knows what he's doing. Jose Feliciano knows what he's doing. Ted Lasso Meatloaf Bowley knows what he's doing. Clown Lake as a whole know what they're doing. And I try to explain to people. They say, why did they go and buy all the signings they made under Tuchel? A, they used Tuchel's name to make the signings. Ted Lasso, Meatloaf, Bowley and Siri Merchant were playing sporting director. Don't ever forget that. They didn't go and hire like Roman or Peter Kenyon straight away. They wanted to play the role of director themselves. They ain't got an absolute scooby about how to run a football club. In fact, they don't even understand football. They thought the formation was 4-4-3. Let's have it right. They thought there was no relegation. They thought that there was an automatic Champions League qualification. Drink their minerals in. Understand. These are the facts. Yeah? We've been landing. We know it like clockwork orange, bruv. We got them in the dentist chair like clockwork orange. And their eyes are raw, mate. They can't even blink, bruv. Let's have it right. Strapped wide open. And all they're doing is looking at the matrix, mate. They're looking at all the matrix data. Let's have it right. But all these things, what he's just said there, they always had in their mind was the, the plan, a copy the Brighton, the Red Bull model. Siri Merchant came out publicly, said it all. Never spoke about winning or losing on the pitch. Didn't give a shit. All right. Feliciano's come out. All you hear is building and increasing the business value, commercial brand. And then that's more important than actually winning or losing on the pitch. Let's have it right. Yeah. They've said it. So they've told everyone. They told the supporters. The sports weren't woke enough. And when we were landing it, when it come December, yeah. We were landing it because I was enlightened, bruv. Let's have it right. Shout out to the GOAT, bruv. Yeah. Shout out to the GOAT, Minnows General. Yeah. Who landed this on a golden platter for the Minnows FC. Yeah. You understand me? All right. I don't talk about myself. Oh, no, man. I'm a humble geezer. Talking about one person in particular. Absolute GOAT. I'll tell you this now, right? They say, why, why, why did we, you know, we made all these big signings, old players, doesn't suit the structure they implemented after because they wanted to basically give the illusion, bruv, that they are back in Tommy T. Tommy T knew what was in store for Chelsea Football Club in pre-season. He knew what these clowns were all about and he knew it was a matter of time. So have it right. But the, the thing that people don't understand is you think that these owners could come in, do what they did this summer, sabotage us, gut us out completely, right? Complete Champions League winning team, leaving us three players and one of them's gone on loan. So have it right. Sorry, four Champions League players, Kepa went on loan and then you got Thiago Silva, Reese James and Ben Chilwell. That's it, all right? That's all that's left from that squad, right? You think they could come in and just gut it all out straight away, first window. 
and bring kids. And you think the supporters are going to accept that? No chance. So what they did was they went with the illusion, we're going to back TT, create a divide in the fan base with Thomas Tuchel, where the agenda started. Let's have it right. And all you platforms, you know who you are, called you out 24-7. I don't need to go there. You're all melts. You're all wrong You deserve everything you get right now. Let's have it right. And you're all crying your eyes out, Liam Gallagher, like he was in Porto, bruv. Put the kettle on, is it? Yeah, we'll put the kettle on, man. In fact, I've got my nice cup of tea here. Let's have it right. Drinking the minerals, everyone. They had to do it the next window. And they started. They started in January. And then they went to this summer window, got rid of everyone they wanted to get rid of. Because why? They blew 635 million because they didn't know what they were doing. In two windows, they blew 635 million. That's why we're in financial fair play red zone, mate. Let's have it right. Don't blame it on Don Roman, you disgraceful clowns. Yeah, you can never blame Don Roman. Don Roman's elite, bruv. Greatest owner in world football. The bottom line is what I'm making is... They uh, they needed to make it a, a transitional period. What he has said here was well before, well before we started implementing all this nonsense. Yeah, this mid mid midco limited bangers a mash. Yeah, everything is mid. Directors are mid. Players are mid. Managers are mid. Nothing's elite. The owners are mid. So what do you expect? Mid results. Mid results. Yeah. So it then moves on to, oh, I want to explain something to you. Very, very clear here. All right. I want to make, explain something very clear. Now, at the start, it was always Bowley, wasn't it? Bowley's the face. He's the Hollywood PR merchant. So have it right. He's the Golden Globe merchant. He loves a bit of PR. He loves to play celebrity. He loves to be in the limelight. He's got that main character syndrome disorder. Let's have it right. Yeah, the old meatloaf bowley. Let's have it right. He has got that. He always will have it. Yeah? Well, I want to make it very, very clear to people that are new in here, people that are all the Minerals FC Ultras know anyway. But something happened at, at the Brentford game. And what happened? Bowley got called out by the supporters. Raw is chant, bro. Let's have it right. Needed, necessary, right? Maurizio Pochettino got called out, chanting him out. Get out. Yeah? Chanting for Jose Mourinho, chanting for Roman Abramovich. Heavy moves, bro. We've been chanting Roman Abramovich for a while, but it's building, it's getting heavier. It needs to continue. Let's have it right. But the key, the key thing here is, all right, yesterday, it was put out that Meatloaf Bowley, when the game was on at Brentford, he was at Formula One, spudding, melts, licking his ass, playing celebrity, taking a step back, is it? Taking a step back. That's the narrative. He's taking a step back. And that was the narrative in the summer. And I told you lot, he ain't taking no steps back. He's taking steps with. You understand me? Elephant walk steps with the Siri Merchant and Jose Fagaziano and everyone at Clown Lake. And what I'm trying to explain to you is just because he ain't at the game doesn't mean he's involved in all the decisions. Siri Merchant's at all the games. Siri Merchant's the ringleader. We knew this. I've always told you this. I told you this season, at the start of this season, that Siri Merchant is now playing the full role of sporting director, but is still with. Todd Lasso Meatloaf Bowley. And Jose Fagaziano is there lurking in the background, wanking off to Data FC. AI. Let's have it right. He's sitting in front of the monitor that thinks he's Batman, bruv, in the Dark Knight. Nah, man, where the Dark Knight? No brand envelopes is safe on the Minerals FC. Let's have it right. Well, I want to say it like this, right? It's a fantastic PR stunt to make sure that Meatloaf Bowley He's nowhere near the game. But because he got called out and the chance were towards the bowley, yeah, because let's have it right. He's been set up by Clown Lake as the face, the leader. It's Bowley's Blues. It's Ted Lasso Bowley and Clown Lake. And it's Ted Lasso Bowley in the first final under their ownership with Clown Lake. It's always Meatloaf Bowley leading the, 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 the whole consortium. It's bollocks, right? It's all of them. 
When are people going to understand that they use the media to pin off each other so no one actually knows what the hell's going on? Because Meatloaf Bowley got, got it, and the minnows were landed on him at the game at Brentford. Boulders away supporters and salute all of them. Every single one of them. Proper Chelsea legends, bro. Yeah. But because it was Bowley's name, everyone felt, no, it's necessary now. We have to call it out for what it is because, oh, it's pity. Like Jellyfish Potter got death threats and emails and no one told us about what happened with that. While Meatloaf Bowley's getting pissed up in Mayfair the night before the Spurs game. We've got Jellyfish Potter getting death threats 15 minutes after our stream. It gets released. So have it right. So the pity, the pity, the, the I'll feel sorry for him. Oh, we've got to back him. And this and that. But Milo's getting pissed up. He doesn't care. Where's the top-notch bacon? Did they find, find out who did it? No, they didn't. Now, the narrative is this. Bowley's there. He's nowhere near the football. He's taking a step back. Why are you chanting Bowley's name, they're saying? It's not Bowley. It's Siri Merchant Egg Barley. It's Feliciano, the Fugazi. Fugaziano, let's have it right. Well, I say it like this. In simple terms, it's the three of them. Don't believe what they're telling you. That it's just Bowley. It's not. Don't believe it's just Siri Merchant. Don't believe it's just Siri Merchant and Fugaziano. It's all three of them. They know exactly what they're doing. Weiss knows. Walkers knows, Walkers, Chris Walkers, everyone behind the scenes, Jura 6, the CEO, they're all in it together, mate. Yeah? The whole lot comes as a consortium, Blue Co and Clown Lake. They're together. They're all as one. They're the biggest form of cancer that has infiltrated our elite football club. And this one's a big one. This one's going for the spine of the club. Yeah? And you know what happens when it hits the spine, bruv. Yeah? Feels like an iron on your back 24-7, bruv. No morphine can, can numb it, bruv. No no morphine. You can overdose on morphine. You're going to go, bruv. It's that painful. Well, that's what they've done to Chelsea Football Club. They, they, they basically crippled us. They destroyed us. Sabotaged us. There's no, there's no quick fix here. You spent over a billion. You've given over 235 million. And you're paying more payouts. To bring the crown jewels as the final piece to go under Carrotine when Stan Stewart Little and pay his claws out to the seagull merchants. Fuck's sake! Stop paying them money. Yeah? It's enough. You can copy them till you fly to the moon, and that's impossible. You can fly to the moon. Let's have it right. You ain't no Elon Musk, mate. You ain't no, you ain't no, you ain't clever. You ain't an alien, bruv. They think they're aliens. They're just eye robots, bruv. Yeah, they've been made in a lab, mate. Yeah, they think they're fucking Robocop. It's Robocop. It's Robocop shooting all the mans, mate. Yeah, all of them get falling down. The geezer in acid, limbs falling off, disintegrating, melting, bruv. That's what they're doing with this data AI scouting. This whole mid mentality, mid directors, mid players, mid gaffers, bottle jobs galore, bruv. Yeah, they are bottle jobs. Clown like the bottle jobs. I fucking, oh, what is it, Simon Jordan? You don't like it. You find it a bit discriminative. Is it a bit insulting to call, call them bottle jobs? They're fucking bottle jobs, mate. Yeah, because they're not interested in winning trophies. So what are you playing the game for? You're playing it for the pound notes. You want pound notes. That's all you want is to build and double up your money. People think that they can't make money by us not being successful. We've been the most successful for the last 20 odd years. Dominant, elite. They're milking that heritage. They're milking that history. Spurs, you ain't got no history, bruv. They're the, they're the elite bottle jobs, yeah? And these lot are making the most profit because they're stadium, because of their concerts. You know what I'm saying? Because they're NFL games. Oh, I bet Ted Lasso, Meatloaf, Bowley and Siri Merchant are licking their lips, getting boners over thinking about and dreaming about NFL being played at the bridge. So have it right. But they can't build their stadium because of the Chelsea pitch owners. So have it right. We don't trust you. Don't trust your barge pole, mate. You're there to milk us. That's all you're there to do is milk our football club. And you're doing it. You're doing it very well. 
In fact, Ted Lasso, Meatloaf, Bowley is the highest earner as a chairman on 20 million a year, 200 million uh, in 10 years. So have it right. They're already extracting money out of our football club when legally the Glazer Clause tells you you're not allowed to do that as an owner, as an ownership. So, like I say, the loophole merchant, the loophole merchants, they found the loophole and they're milking it already and they're getting sent to Cayman Islands, they're getting sent to wherever you like. Let's have it right. Or is it or is it not? I don't know. You tell me. We're just putting it out there. Guys in the chat, let me know. Land your minerals in the chat. The reality is this. Blue Code 22, Midco Limited. Midco Limited is mid. They are the elite at mid. Let's have it right. So people saying it's just and only Siri Merchant are absolutely wrong. So let's go to Pies and Mash right now. Smash that like button, every single one of you. Now, this is Pies and Mash private little account. I think you should continue to do it on his main account. Yeah? Do it on your main account, fella. So have it right. There are significant doubts inside Chelsea that the club will reach a European spot. No shit. Doesn't the tech. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Doesn't the data tell you that we got a hundred, we're building a hundred point team? Doesn't the data tell you? Wasn't it at the start that at the very least they want European football? Well, that's in the bin. That's in the mud. You're in the woods, Clown Lake. You never, you don't care about that. Do you know why they don't care about it? Because they're getting 150 million irrespective, sorry, 140 million irrespective of sitting 12th place, 10th place, 11th place, all the way up to 6th place. Doesn't matter. They're still making the same amount of money. But he says figures at the club are worried that Chelsea will end up like last season and get to a point where nothing's to play for. Well, what figures are they? Tell me what figures. Are we talking data figures or are we talking uh, the, the clown lakes? Or are we talking the directors, the mid director, yes men? Bollocks. So have it right. They ain't worried about that. This is a lovely little PR stunt to make you think that they are concerned about the position. People above have different views on Poch. Well, we know Siri Merchant's vouching for this guy. And I'll tell you why he's vouching for this guy. Because like they vouch for Jellyfish Potter, and let's have it right, Pornstein, yeah? Let's have it right, Pornstein, yeah? You came out and you said that Potter's not got months, he's got years. He's one of the best coaches in the world. So have it right, yeah? Because you're a mouthpiece for these clown lakes, you fucking disgrace. So have it right, yeah? All right? False narrative setter, bullshitter, brown envelope liar. Let's have it right for their narrative. Well, they were, they were dreading sacking Jellyfish Potter because it's a project. It's a project that's meant to last, what, five-year project, they say? Well, how did it last with Potter, Jellyfish Potter, in the bin? Potter hasn't come out and said nothing because he signed an NDA. So has Pochettino. Let's have it right. So have all the players. So have all the directors. So has Christian Vavell who hasn't said nothing since he's left. It's all NDA, mate. NDAFC. The only ones that haven't signed NDA is Thiago Silva with Bell Silva. Let's have it right. Go. Yeah. Legend. Not stupid. So, of course, Siri Merchant and Clown Lake and Ted Lasso Meatlife Bowley have to keep hold of Pochettino because if they sack him now, they know they're not getting Champions League football. They know they're not getting European football. They, they're dreaming if they think they're going to win the FA Cup. And we're basically going to stagnate as mid-table, as you said, like Tony Bloom, Siri Merchant, mid. Mid-profitability. Mid-players. Mid-build. Yeah? So we're going to be mid-table. As the gaffer said, Pochettino, he said, what did he say? He said, mid-table is our reality. So have it right. Because that's what we've been built upon mid table so you're going to get mid results mid squad so have it right so he says data analysts have raised concerns over performance lately they felt we should have more possession against leeds 51 to 49 percent and more shots we also lost on xg liverpool in extra time was raised with the dominating 41 to 59 percent 39 to 61%. And we got dominated by what? What did we get dominated by? Kids. The golden veneer merchants' kids. So have it right. We got dominated and we lost that final. Yeah? Well, isn't it interesting? 
the data analysts. Why don't you fucking shove that data up your asses, yeah? Get it in the bin. It's a fucking disgrace that you are using AI scouting and data at our football club on every, to cover every single segment and part of the hierarchy on top of that. And to buy players on data is the biggest delusion I've ever heard in my life. We've been calling it out for God knows how long. And it's like, stop it. End it. Cut it. Yeah? Cut ties with the data. It's not working, mate. And you're raising concerns over performance lately. Your fucking performance, your data is a lie. Your data and your trajectory is in the mud. And the data says this is not Chelsea. That's all I see from the data, mate. Because the league table don't lie. The performances don't lie. The players' performances don't lie. The players that you bought don't lie. The directors don't lie. You clown lakes ain't a fucking lying to everyone. And you can't lie to us because we know the truth. So a bit right, yeah? So he says the club are using advanced models and tools to judge the progression of the team. A more simple but effective one is the attacking momentum graphs, which show you peaks of pressure throughout the course of the game. Losses to West Ham, Brentford at home, Forest at home showed we dominated and we fucking lost these games. We lost these games and we dominated. But like Jose says, when you play well, or you dominate, but you don't win and you accept those, you don't become a big club anymore with big mentality. Because these lot ain't got mentality, these clown legs upstairs. They never had mentality. They don't have minerals, bruv. They can dig in the rails of the earth. They ain't going to get no minerals out of there. And there's plenty of minerals in the earth. Let's have it right. They'll miss every fucking mineral that there is. Yeah? Wrong ends. So, we're using graphs now. We're back at kindergarten school. We're in nursery, you know? Let's learn about graphs. Let's go and get an Excel spreadsheet. Let's get PowerPoint, guys, and fucking all jerk off to it. Is that what we're doing? No, we like our jerk chicken. Let's have it right. We like jerk chicken, bro. Yeah. I ain't into all this, mate. This is a this is a joke. It's embarrassment. It then says Chelsea's use of data models is why you hear generally that the club feel we should be higher in the table. We dropped a lot of points, 10 plus, earlier on in the season where we were dominating attacking phases. And controlling important zones more regularly. I don't give a fuck. Goals win you games. Performances win you games. Elite players win you games. World-class players are fucking spying. Leaders in your team win you games. Experienced players win you games. And we ain't got fucking any of that. And the ones that we have got, you're, you're exiling in Thiago Silva. You're, you're basically starting to bench Raheem Sterling now, who's basically our best fucking attacker. Let's have it right. And everyone's coming at him. It's a joke, man. So what results do you expect? I'm sorry, man. Your data's in the fucking mud. It's in the gutter. You AI, iRobot. Piece of shit. Yeah? As always, I said, Egg Barley was the final say on pretty much every... When did you say that, Pizer Mash? When did you say, I always said... When did you fucking well say I always said? Because I could swear when people go on Pies and Mash, there's fucking nothing about Siri Merchant. There's nothing about Bowley. There's nothing about Clown Lakes. It's all fucking propaganda, you melt. When I was telling you a year ago, where were you lot? Where were you lot? Putting it out, putting the true narrative out. Where the fuck were you? You were too busy brown nosing because you want your clicks and you want your circles and you want your connections. And now it's got so fucking far in the mud because we're in dark times and we're a shambles that you all want to come out of the woodwork, you fucking worms. Yeah, let's have it right. And we fucking, we get, we send the crows out. We don't even send birds. We send crows, bruv. Yeah, to eat you worms that are coming out of the woodwork because it doesn't wash. Like I always said, what a bullshitter. All of your bullshitters, even goldfish, man. You're a waffler. You have to do it now. And all of them, all of you platforms have to do it. Why do you have to do it? Because it's the narrative. It's the true narrative. you got to be fucking blind like Al Pacino in scent of a woman to not fucking see it, bruv. And even he's got more minerals to see what's going on at Chelsea, bruv. Yeah? And he's in the dark here. We're in the dark. We ain't on the dark in the minerals. You see, we're the dark night where no brand is actually safe. We call it out every single fucking stream. Win, lose, draw. We call it out. So I don't want to hear this nonsense. I always said it and all this bollocks. What a load of waffle, mate. Tosh. Absolute tosh. Yeah. 
Right, we go to the next one. Listen to this. And this is this is how you manipulate supporters. A lovely PR stunt. Clear Lake co-founder, Siri Merchant Ekbali, has been highly visible and active in all Chelsea transfer decisions. Of course, everyone knows that. It's common knowledge, bruv. He flew out to do the uh, the Enzo deal. He flew out to do the Magic deal. He flew out to do the Casado deal because his little yes men puppets couldn't do, finish their dinner, bruv. But everyone was going, "Oh, Karim and Stanley can't negotiate. He can't. We can't negotiate a mobile phone contract. This geezer. He's mid as you like with, with Stuart Little. They can't negotiate for shit. All right. But they're not there to negotiate. Who sets the prices? Who sets the budget? The Clown Lake, Siri Merchant, Milo Foley, Felici Fagaziano, bruv. They're the ones that set the, 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 the budget. So, of course, it's the whole main character syndrome. He wants to play fucking Superman, all right, and fly on his, his jet to go and get Mudrick as a great political stunt because of Ukraine and Roman Abramovich have it right, even though Roman's mother's Ukrainian, you fucking melts. Even though Roman Abramovich wanted to donate all the money from the sale of the club to the victims of war in in in, in Ukraine, and yet that money still hasn't been deposited there. Do you know why? Because it's earning interest over here, mate, by the UK government, Bank of England, who have absolutely fucking destroyed our football club. That's the true minerals landing. That's the true minerals, bro. Yeah. Then it goes on to say one con contact talks about his desire to compete with Real Madrid. The La Liga side may not be what they were in the transfer market, but are still regarded as one of the biggest clubs in the world. What do you mean they weren't? They weren't what they were in the transfer market. They just went and signed Bellingham, mate. They got Schumeni, Camavinga, bro. They're going to get Mbappe. They got Vinicius Junior. I mean, what are these lot waffling? Look at this PR. This is from the Athletic Pornstein, by the way. Then it says, people talk of a very data-driven man, someone who believes in the analytics of the player. Yeah? Well, you're from that money ball. And money ball don't work or translate to Chelsea Football Club. It definitely don't translate to Premier League. You can use some of it, you merchant. Yeah? You AI fucking bot. You can use some of it, but you can't use it all. You can't base your whole club decisions on fucking AI. It's artificial intelligence. You're not using human brains, human eyes, human emotions, human mentality. Yeah. Humane. Yeah. You're not using that. You're not sending human scouts to watch players. It's all AI. You just plug a laptop at the game, bruv, and let the laptop scan it. Probably they send fucking drones from all over the world to scan with the AI to see, oh, that player looks good. Nah, let's sign that one. That one's 14 years old. We'll get that one on a good price. And we're low wage structure and we'll sign him on 10 years. Yeah. These don't think they built a hundred point team. These fuckers are amortizing points for Chelsea per season at this right. Yeah. This is what's happening. Let's have it right. So, as I always said, the fact that you think we're going to compete with Real Madrid is the biggest load of delusion. The most delusion of I mean, that is as delusional as you can get, mate. Yeah. Jeff Sterling lands the minerals on Talk Sport. He says, as soon as fans start chanting against the owner, it means the manager is in big trouble, big trouble. No, it doesn't. It means the ownership's in trouble. It means the gaffer's in trouble. It means they're all in trouble, mate. Not just fucking gaffer. But the truth of the matter is, Todd Bowley has to look at himself because the recruitment has been absolutely hopeless. And again, they pinpoint Meatloaf Bowley, but it's not Meatloaf Bowley, it's Clown Lake. When are these mainstream medias and all our legends and all these people going to come out and call Clown Lake out? The whole lot of them. They're the criminals. They're all making the decisions. They're all on the same page. Why? Because they've all got money in the club. They all bought the club. This is when you know that they don't say it as it should be. They don't say it as it should be. And that's not right. And we have to call it out. Now, let, before we get on a bottle, Tino, we're going to get on to this. Chelsea have identified Brentford Guru. Brentford Guru. Yeah? They're calling this guy a guru, and he's from fucking Brentford. 
Bernardo Cueva as one of their targets to work in the club's new set-piece department. All right. Not only are they bringing us from a mid... Well, the Brentford are fighting relegation. Fucking fighting relegation with Dumbo's Frank, yeah? He ain't flying nowhere, bruv. All right? They ain't flying nowhere up the table. So, again, mid Brighton Seagull Merchants, bottom relegation, Brentford, and this guy they're calling a, a guru at set pieces. What about our fucking guru, Anthony Barry, in defence? Because ever since he's left, our whole defence capitulated, especially without Thiago Goat Silva, all right? What about our, our whole medical team, our whole backroom staff? How about everything our football club has been fucking gutted out? And you've got the fucking audacity, promote, guru, that this guy's a guru. What's he fucking done? What's he won? What's Brentford won? To call him a guru, bruv. What a disgrace. Right? And they're paying a buyout clause for this guy. More buyout clauses they're paying off. And they're going to have to do it for a gaffer as well. These lot are fucking thick as you like. Yeah? Thick as a plank of wood, mate. Doesn't go nowhere. Two by four, bruv. Yeah? A two by four. Four by four is too, too, too complimentary, bruv. A two by four, bruv. Yeah? Can't build shit with that. RSJs, you need RSJs. They, they don't know what an RSJ is, bruv. They'll go and ask the AI scouts to tell them what an RSJ is when they're trying to rebuild the stadium, the fucking melts. All right? So, again, that's from Matt Law. The, 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 these, are, these are the issues we got, right? They're not fucking stopping, mate. They're not stopping. They keep going. They brought Jewel from Seagull Merchants. They're paying, his, buying, paying a buyout clause for him as well. On top of that, 20 odd million. Fuck's sake. Oh, it fucking winds me up. You know, what, what do you expect? What, what does anyone expect? Nothing's going to change. Everyone needs to land it. Big up to this fella here. All right. Wow, the Google reviews on the Clear Lake page are looking really bad. 2.5 out of 5. Todd and his minions have ruined Chelsea FC in just one, one and a half years. Buying a washed up Sterling, buying an injury prone Wesley Fafana, finally. I mean, look at this. Useless company bought my football club. <laughs> look at all the fantastic. You know, people are landing down minerals. People are landing down minerals. But the reviews are shocking. Yeah. Do you think they would have bought our club if it wasn't on the cheap? They can't even afford to buy a football club. They would have been better buying the Seagull Merchants for well under a billion, mate. Yeah. Or being a part ownership. How the fuck have we inherited the worst owners in the sport history? Sports history, mate. Yeah. Sports history. It's, it's just shocking. Absolutely shocking. Yeah. We got receipts, bruv. We got receipts. Look at it. Chelsea's ready to pay the compensation to Brian for super... Scout, Sam Jewell, and hire him this summer. He's leaving the Seagulls and has been put on the gar on gardening leave. The Blues can buy him out of his contract for a big six-figure sum. This is where we are at Chelsea. This is where we are. You know what I'm saying? Do you? Does everyone understand? Yeah, that they are continuing with this this mid data AI scouting clown lake disaster and model, and nothing stopping these cunts. Excuse me for my language. I just lost it there. I lost it. I absolutely lost it.
until we protest, nothing's going to change. Nothing. No fucking thing will change at this football club until we make a stand. They don't listen. They don't care. They won't listen to Chelsea supporters. They don't give a shit. Wait till the season tickets go up. Wait till they stop your coaches. Wait till they fucking charge ridiculous prices. We're going to have no real supporters going to games. Yeah? CEO Jurisic, you fucking fraud. You're a rat. Man, in Bundesliga, you see that ultra landing, it's all the players and the team. Oh, we need to do that to the fucking clowns, mate. Forget the players. The players ain't going to get better overnight. We need to fucking land it on these clown lakes, mate. We need to fucking land it, bruv. I'm telling you, mate. We need to land it, bruv. Football over here is too soft. It's too soft. The supporters are too soft across the Premier League. It's too media PR driven. That no one thinks that we got power. That the supporters don't have power. The power's with the supporters, mate. Yeah? We go and protest, man. The PR and that will be relentless, bruv. Yeah? And Leicester's a great shout. Why? Because it's BBC, ITV, broadcasted, national television. You stop that game. Bang. Big message. Big message. Because I'm telling you now, they ain't going to change. They're not even sacking jellyfish fucking potch. Do you know what Ornstein, the Pornstein merchant said? You know what he said? I'll tell you what he said. Pochettino's position will be reviewed in the summer. He says, I'm not aware of any moves to sack Maurizio Pochettino. On the contrary, Chelsea's preference would be to forward, uh, move forward with him. And for him to be as, uh, to move forward with him, be for him to be, as, it's the same carbon copy as Jellyfish Potter, all right? Because he's the best of the yes men that you're going to get. The thing is, Poch don't care. Poch knows he's gone. Poch don't give a shit. The supporters will never, ever, ever, ever accept Pochettino because he's ex-Spursy and he is Spursy. And that's the, re that's the reality, all right? So you fucking clowns brought us an ex-Spursy gaffer because you don't know what you're doing. Because you couldn't, we would never accept you bringing bottle, bottle head, fucking light bulb head company, or a, a Andrew Roo, or some fucking unknown gaffer, or Thomas Frank, after you brought us Jellyfish Pie, after sacking our elite gaffer. Who's going to fucking accept that? So you have to bring someone a little bit up. Something a bit up. Poch can't do anything with his team. No elite gaffer can. But what an elite gaffer does is he changes the structure, he instills a mentality. And he can restructure, bro, as accordingly. These cows don't want to do it. They won't do it. I want you to listen to me. I'm begging you. Everyone out there, you got to listen to me. They're not going to change it. They refuse to change it unless we make them change it. And we make them fucking well sell. I want these clowns out. They're only here to milk us and make money off us. They're promoting a fucking American uh, competition already in the summer. Already now. They want to get their money in the bags. He's gone. Poch is gone, mate. Poch ain't going to be here. But it's who you bring in next. It doesn't matter what you bring in next. As long as these clowns are, are got these mid-directs, as long as these clowns are making all decisions, which they are, as long as these clowns are using AI and data as, as their prerogative, as their main source to drive this club forward, we're finished. And they're going to bring us some fraudulent gel that Wolverine, bruv. They're going to bring us a Thomas Dumbo Frank, bruv. All right? Not having it! I will not have it!
So everyone needs to speak up. Everyone needs to land it 24 seven. Everyone needs to land it. Listen to what he says. Pochettino. Listen to what he says. About the booing from the Chelsea fans. I think the performance performances have been very good. That's my message. If fans want to listen, perfect. If not, what can I do? They'll keep booing. I'm giving my best to this team, but we can't blame the fans. They need to show. They need to show what? They need to show their frustration. I prefer it's through me rather than the team. Players need to feel backed by the fans. And to be honest, I prefer that I get the blame and, th and let the players be free on the pitch. I don't care. I am strong. I'm 52 now. He's getting, he's getting it all. Pochettino's the full guy, but he's not, he's not the problem. Nor was Potter. Nor was Tuchel. Nor was our Champions League winning fucking team. It's the structure and the ownership that's the problem. And people only realising now. And it's only a year and a bit, a year and a half into their reign. A year and a half into their reign. And we're already at this dark period. We're already sitting same position as last year we finished. I'm telling you, we can't allow them to recruit another manager or another player until we have protested. And until we protest, that's where we take control of this football club. And we have to force these clowns out. Just like they found the loophole in Bowley getting 20 million a year as an employee being chairman and he's a fucking co-owner milking our club for 200 million over 10 years, they can find a loophole to sell the club and just get their money back. So have it right and give it to an owner that actually cares about this football club, cares about football. He's, he's there to make money, granted, but he's there to make a, a, a world-class team and challenge at the highest level. You've gutted us. You've deliberately lowered our standards. Yeah. You've you've made the supporters lower their standards. You've got every brown envelope under the sun to pr promote trust the process. It's a long-term project. It's not a winning mentality of just win now. You know, if this is such a process, if it's such a process, then you can't even back your fucking process because you keep hiring and firing managers because you can't, you can't withstand the pressure from the supporters. Because the supporters always told you they won't put up with this nonsense. They won't keep going through this roller coaster ride, mate. We can go all in towers if we want to go on a roller coaster. We don't need to do it with our football club. This is meant to be escapism. We're meant to enjoy this. And, and this is we're meant to love going to Chelsea. And we do. But the bottom line is all we're fucking enjoying is meeting up with people and having a drink, you know, because the football's abysmal. The trajectory is abysmal. We're not growing or building towards anything. There's no trust the process. No process to trust. The, the trust the trust the process should be trust. We trust winning trophies, right? And competing at the highest level. None of that exists at Chelsea no more. None of it exists at Chelsea. And another thing is. Pochettino has to say what he says because he signed NDA. They have to say what they say. Now, the only thing Jellyfish Potter said that was 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 a minerals landing was said, he said, I am not the problem. And he was making it loud and clear because he was being he was being told what players to pick. He was being forced to pay players. He was being forced to bench players. He was forced to do what he does, to do his job their way. But they don't know what they're doing. Do you know what their way is? They're listening to an iRobot. They listen to AI tell them, we'll get a laptop and put it in the dugout and let that fucking manage the team because it might as well be. And as it is right now, go and buy some fucking elite players because your data ain't going to go anywhere up soon. So have it right. In fact, it's going to stagnate as the mid model that you have implemented from what you said as being fantastic at the Seagull merchants. Minerals are landing 24 7, bro. Yeah. Minerals are landing 24 7. Yeah. 24-7. Look at this. Look at this nonsense. Uh, and they're putting this out now. Chelsea have made the move for 18-year-old, a, a, a Jodu City FC striker, Haviz Umar Ibrahim. He has been invited for a trial. What are you... 
What the fuck? What what are you promoting this for? And Dodgers, you're a fraud, bruv. Yeah? Chelsea Dodgers, you're a fucking melt, bruv. Yeah? You copy and paste merchant. Followed by Todd Lasso Bowley, is it? Let's have it right. Should we go? In fact, let's go now. Fuck it. Let's go now. Let's go to Todd Bowley's uh, account. Let's go and look at all his followers. Let's see who Ted Lasso is following. He's following CFC Daily. He's following Simon Phillips. Who else is he following? He, oh, what a surprise. Chelsea Dodgers there. He's following uh, London is Blue podcast. That's linked to Matt Law, isn't it? And all those Americans that do fucking lovely PR. Chelsea FC News, another big account. Who else has he got? Finkelstein, obvious reasons. Who else we got in here? And Chelsea Updates. Someone explain to me why Meatloaf Bowley is following those accounts. Because he's using them. 300 plus, 500 plus following. Manipulate the narrative in the fan base. So have it right. It's what we do on my channel, is we expose people. And another one we're going to expose is another guy that's blocked me called uh, The Score. I don't know what he's... Yeah, he's called The Score, isn't he? Yeah. He says, philosophy project managers give up their principles at CFC because fans, the club, are too impatient. No shit. We're a winning mentality. Our standards are through the roof. Don't demand a project philosophy manager if you don't have the patience for it. Well, it looks like the clown legs don't have the patience for it. And the fact that you're coming at the supporters is a fucking disgrace. I'll say that now. He says, I think our fan base are so impatient and demanding of instant wins from managers. They are scared to risk using them because there's less guarantee in their eyes, not mine, ours, of getting wins with young, inconsistent players. Name me any team in history of the game that has bought a bunch of 20-year-olds on average and has competed or has ever competed or had the chance to build to compete. You ain't scoring anything, mate. You're firing blanks like Nico Jackson with slosh pot wet. You understand me? Yeah, the score, right? Um, he says, we need a set-piece specialist. Chelsea hire a set-piece specialist from a team. Excellent at defending set-pieces. Right, so if Brentford are so excellent at defending set pieces, someone fucking explain to me why they're fighting relegation. Someone explain to me why we're picking a set piece specialist from a relegation fighting team if they're so fucking good. Because the data tells us, is it? What a fucking joke. He says, Chelsea fans whine, complain. Chelsea fans are impossible to please. Even if you try... And do the right thing. To be honest, whatever you do, it's never enough. Oh, boo-hoo. Cry your eyes out, Liam Gallagher. Cry your heart out. You're coming at supporters instead of coming at these wrongings that have done this damage to our football club. Tells you you're a bought brown envelope, you fraud. Yeah? I'm glad you bought me. I don't have to witness that. and Burn my eyes with that shit. Right? He says, Chelsea fans saying they wouldn't sign Haaland based on a couple of misses are jokes. You don't deserve success with silly takes like that. He'd got 18 goals this season and had two months out. I mean, I mean, what is this guy on, bruv? This guy's on, on cloud fucking... We don't he's, he's from another planet, this guy. He must be an iRobot, man. Maybe he's a hybrid of a fucking iRobot and, and so-called human being, bruv. Because this geezer, he's talking like a bot. And he's trying to target and uh, 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 and dig at the narrative, uh, the narratives uh, uh, because of the supporters. We fucking land it, bruv. We don't accept this nonsense and mediocrity. We don't accept this. It's a shambles, mate. I wanted Haaland over that cement boot rat. And when Roman didn't want to pay the 380 million that Dortmund were holding ransom to. Because Don Roman don't get a hell ransom, bruv. Fucking idiot.
Yeah? Look what people are putting out already. Look what they're putting out already. Yeah? Minnows are landing, bruv. Everywhere. It's landing everywhere. People are putting clown face on them. Do you know how insulting that is as these owners for them to be called clowns? It's horrible, mate. You don't want to get called a clown, mate. Yeah? You know, like, clowns, like it. They're like it. They are it. They're fucking crawling out of sewage, out of drain pipes. Yeah? Fucking literally snapping kindergartens galore, bruv, because it's great. It's the beachhead. It's a streamline. It's a, it's a five, six-year project. Uh, system overload. AI, 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 AI. Uh, 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 yeah, it's in the fucking mud. It's in the mud. Yeah. You know, um, these not having malfunctions, bruv. You know, they are literally in the Matrix. And you've got Keanu Reeves like that on the fucking bed, like that. <laughs> AI's fucked up. The trajectory's not right. We should be building a 100-point team, but we're not getting there. Uh, we're still mid-table for two years running. We spent one billion. Uh, we sacked all the elite of that, leading us out of the football club. Uh, we're in the gutter. We're all fucking system overload. They're coming for us. They're fucking coming for us. They're coming for us. Oh, get us out. Get us out. Get us out. Clown Lake out. Yeah. Let's have it right. It's finished. It's done. It's finished. Yeah. This is Murphy in Robocop. You know Murphy in Robocop, but that's when he shot down, bruv. Do you understand me? He's not even been made into a robot, yeah? This guy's no Robocop, bruv. This guy's a malfunction. He's a walking fucking disaster. And that's what Clown Lake are, bruv, yeah? He's trust the process. Trust the process. He's fucking MK Ultra. The whole fan base has been MK Ultra, bruv. Clockwork Orange, sitting up like that. And all they see is the stats and the data. And all they see is trust it. Trust the process. Brown Envelope Matrix is telling you trust the process. Everyone's got to trust the process, bruv. Yeah? Trust that. And I'll tell you what, because we've got two stars, we'll do that. Bum, bum. Yeah? Let's have it right. Let's have it right. So, smash the like button, every single one of you. Smash the like button. Respect to everyone in here, because um, uh, let me know, guys. In fact, in the chat, why don't you put down all the all the YouTube channels, all the Twitter accounts that are actually talking the true narrative, or, 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 or they're on the outskirts, they're touching the service because they're treading on eggshells, because they're careful, they don't want to fall in, you know what I'm saying, and lose all their fucking monetization, they don't want to lose all their connections, you know. Tell me, tell me in the chat. got fucking Arsenal winning 3-0. Yeah? We were above Arsenal. They couldn't even get Champions League. In fact, for seven, eight years, they've been struggling at Champions League. What do you think chances we got at Chelsea to get Champions League football? Someone explain to me what chance we got. Yeah? All right, let's see what you're saying. Man knows football. Yeah, Gunny's landing it. Eunice, we know about Eunice Lands Minerals, bruv. Uh, who else? Oh, Matisse Librarian's doing it. All right. He wanted Pochettino. It's a bit of a uncomfortable conversation. Let's have it right. Who would want this fucking Spursy gaffer? I never wanted this clown. Um, and he's he's having his whole reputation dis absolutely destroyed by these clowns. Anyone who goes near this club with these clown ownership knows it's not the Chelsea of old. They've got to stay well away, mate. Yeah. Um, oh, failed actor Jennings is landing it. Goldfish has started landing it. Tobes, we know Tobes has been landing it, bruv. You know, Tobes, 
he put out, he goes, Joel, oh, what a sh shock. Johnny's been right from the start. I think he deserves apologies, mate. Make your apologies, yeah? Because he's fucking humble, bruv. And the thing is, Toast has been landing it anyway. You know what I'm saying? He's been landing it. No. Lewis is doing it, is he? Is Lewis talking the true narrative? Don't, don't tell me that. No. Really? I could have sworn I said about fucking what, year ago? Maybe eight months. I said it won't be long before you're all on the fucking minerals gravy train. And what, everyone has to speak the true narrative now, is it? What a fucking surprise. <laughs> Jeff Cole says Johnny Minerals, I think. <laughs> oh, that's kind of funny. Uh, big up, Johnny. I've already said that on early in the stream. Listen. They're all going to have to get on it. And do you know what happens? When they all get on it, they all look like mugs. They all look like mugs. Yeah. Big up to A, man. Becoming a Minerals FC Ultra member and continuing. My geezer, Johnny would never kill himself. Facts. Never. Never. I'd never take my own life. That's, that's worse. Than actually killing someone in my in my realm, bruv. Yeah, you don't take your own life. You land your minerals, you dig out your minerals, you never take your own life. You let upstairs take care of that. Yeah. Uh big up to uh Blizzard. He says, except for the owners selling the club, what can they do to uh what can what can they do to restoring trust from the fan base? In my opinion, we need to bring in an elite director and sack pot. We need elite directors. We need an elite gaffer. Uh, Jose Marino right now is the man, but he needs the elite director and someone like an Acampos or someone who's available. Yeah. And these clowns need to stay out of football and need to go and they need to retract from Data FC. And that's the only way we can go forward, but they're not going to do that. And they need to increase their wage structure. They also need to buy players over 24, 25 years old, so we're not eliminated and restricting the market. So a lot of things they need to do, which they could have done from the start without spending one billion. So what? Yeah, clowns for a reason. These clowns are not changing. They've told everyone from the start what they're going to do at this football club, and they are doing it, and they're well within what they've, they've implemented it so far. It's so far gone, bro. It's deep-rooted now. And I was screaming last season, mid-last season, I was telling everyone, you can sack Potter, but we have to change the models more important. It's bigger than the gaffer. I always said that. It's bigger than the gaffer. This is bigger than what's on the pitch. But what's on the pitch is the end result. It's a product of these clowns. All of them. Meatloaf, Bowley, Siri Merchant and Fagaziano. It is their product. And their product shit. Just like their Clear Lake company and their reviews as a 2.3 star rating shit they're failures they're opportunists bro they're frauds in the game these equity merchants that's what they are they're equity merchants they think they're big big shotters in wall street and they've got meatloaf bowley playing hollywood ah oh, it's hollywood man he couldn't make a blockbuster hollywood movie if he fucking tried bro his life depended on it yeah he's a fraud bro Big up to Andrew. It says, Johnny, you're a diamond, mate. I'm no diamond geezer. I'm just I'm just like everyone else. I'm nothing special. I'm just a supporter like everyone else. We're all equal, bruv. And we all got our opinions, bruv. Yeah? It's just my opinions have been facts. People can't hack it. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. Fuck me. Oh, what's that? Did someone... Did I hear? Oh, Roman, do you know what that's worth? 
Kai Havertz is the best on earth. The silky German is just what you need. He won Chelsea, the fucking Champions League. And this guy's scoring again now. Scoring more fucking goals. Kai Burkamp has minerals. He's scoring goals. And he should be at our fucking football club. And we sold this guy at 22 years old to go fucking goons. And this guy's helping him compete in a title race. Fucking disgrace. We sold Georgino as well. Fuck you, Clown Lake. Yeah? Fuck you, Clown Lake. Do you know what they did to Kai Everts? They sat him down in January and they said, uh, Hi, Kai, we really want you to stay. Uh, we really value you. But because you're on 230 grand or 200 grand a week, uh, we want you to sign a, a death row contract for eight years. And then uh, what we're going to do is, um, mm, let me see. Yeah, we want you to half your wages and stay at Chelsea. Oh, jog on. Jog on, mate. Yeah. Jog on. Fucking hell, what a finish, bruv. What a finish, man. Fucking hell, what we got? What we got up front? This guy's playing false nine. Now he's playing his right position. Lego's playing in his right position. This guy's clinical, man. Silky, man. What the fuck, man? We let him, we sold him their Burkamp replacement. And people are mudding this guy. This guy's a baller, mate. Yeah? All your agenda merchants, you deserve everything you get. And what we fucking got up front? What we got up front? Fucking people trying to do step overs like grasshoppers, man. Flat footed fucking merchants. You know what I'm saying? Fucking joke, man. 4 0. Makes me sick to my stomach. He's everything. He's Van Persie. He's fucking got Berbatov in him. He's got he's got Burkamp in him. I fucking told you, lot man. All right? But no, of course not. We gotta we gotta sell these guys a value. They've won trophies for Chelsea, and we're gonna bring in unproven potential. And all you fucking melts, they were coming at Kai Havertz, coming at Mason Mount. These fucking players won us Champions League, yeah. And you've given that winning DNA and won at Manchester United and won a fucking what? goons and they're, ch they're now challenging all right and this guy's starting to he's a world machine now world machine now yeah and what we stuck with all right you fed agenda now they're out and what we got we can't even score to save our lives man yeah if it was a matter of life or death all right fucking joke man Oh, thank you. Thank you for taking Kai off us. He's such a flop. He's so shit. Yeah, of course he is. You fucking show respect to someone who's won us the Champions League in the history books at Chelsea, mate. Yeah? And you sold him at a young age. Now they're going to get the best years out of him. They're going to get the fucking best out of him, man. Hey, we used to sell all our deadwood to them, man. Now they're taking our fucking creme de la creme. I compared him to these players with like Thomas Tuchel compared him, bruv. Like Berbatov compared himself to him, bruv. You understand me? Yeah? Fucking winds me up. I'm always right, bruv. I don't get it wrong. I know he's a baller. 
and Georgino's been landing as well, and this guy was our vice captain. And granted, replace him, but replace him with better. You didn't do that. You gave us fucking Enzo Fernandez, who isn't even a fucking number six. Because the AI, the AI told us he could do num play number six well. Oh, but players aren't playing their positions no more. Where was that fucking energy for Mason Mount when he wasn't playing his position? Where was that energy when Kai Havertz wasn't playing his fucking position? Yeah? But yeah, they still landed minerals and won us trophies. You're fucking frauds, man. You're agenda merchants. You move the goalposts. You don't even know how to fucking score in your own nets. You melt. Clown Lake out. Clown Lake out. Yeah? And let's bring it up. The one who, who helped. The one who helped orchestrate and get these players over the line with all the fucking feeding the agenda. Look at this fucking kingpin here. Look at him with his award, yeah? What does the caption say? What does it say? Thanks for voting um, me as the best journalist. Yeah? Best journalist, you're the best fucking manipulator. That's what you are, yeah? And let's have it right, Fabrizio, yeah? I'll tell you something now, right? Because I'll show my face, my son. I work 20 hours per fucking day, and I don't accept that someone goes on Twitter with no face, with no name, just joking with myself and saying this kind of shit. There's no shit here, bruv. I've got all the receipts how you orchestrated Mason Man. You mudded yourself. You had to come out with the truth after it was sold. And then you got Ted Meatloaf Bowley, yeah? Todd Meatloaf Bowley liking on a Bellingham tweet from Fabrizio Romano, yeah? One of the United fans going, any United news? And just before Mason Mount sold, he liked it. He liked that fucking tweet. In fact, in fact, we're going on it right now to prove to you. And there it is. Here it is. Still on there. That's his account. And now we're doing a thing for pound notes. And now we're doing a thing for pound notes. Yeah. United News. Pornstein and Fabrizio Romano, the 20 hour a day merchant. Let's have it right. And there he is, the Pornstein. Yeah. Interesting that, isn't it? Interesting that. Just got exposed, you melts. Save Chelsea Football Club. He says, Mark Goldbridge said we are a toxic community. What's he then? What's he? Oh, and that fella Faz, Faz Gazy, I call him, yeah? The one that wanted to get personal, telling me to take medication, this and that. Yeah, he fucking melt. Let's have it right, yeah? You want a quote tweet about me saying that I got blocked by Pornstein? I'll tell you why I got blocked. Let me educate you, my son, because I'm not brown envelope wrongins like you lot that work for the club and do as you're told, three bags full, you little yes men, yeah? I say it as it is, and I call it out for what it is, bruv. I don't give two fucks. You understand me, right? You want to call it what? Oh, it's like a trophy. I'll tell you what it says. It's because I tell the truth. And I only added Pornstein once. I added him once. All right? Never in his comments. I added him once. And all I did was requote what he said about Jellyfish Potter. Saying what? What did he say? He said, Potter's not got months. He's got years. He's one of the best managers in the world. And then he blocked me. <laughs> when you're a fucking general... Yeah, and you ain't bought like you and old Brent Disazar, the AKA Mark Goldfish, and all your little minions on United stand that all the United supports can't fucking stand themselves because you're all fucking brown enveloped up to your eyeballs. Yeah, every single one of you. Yeah, you when you speak about me, show some fucking respect. All right, and you want to insult me again, do it in my face. Yeah. You little fucking media minions. You fiend for the media, media, mate. Yeah. And stop wearing stony. It's just, you know, it's embarrassing, bruv. It's fucking embarrassing. Yeah. Listen, goldfish, toxic community. Older Brent Cesar wouldn't work with big platforms like Terry 
on the football uh, football terrace to push a Glazer out protest or a campaign because he's all in it for himself. He's egotistical. He's a narcissist. He's uh, bagged his job at TalkSport. How oh, he's done that. And you've got, I think one of the football professionals mugged him off. I think it was uh, Danny Murphy. So he's never even played the game. You know, what does he fucking well know? He's a YouTuber. Let's have it right. And to an extent, he's not wrong, is he? I mean, we have opinions, unless we know things. But we all we all got eye tests, mate. Yeah, we all understand how the game works. We know a, a great footballer, top footballer. We know a shit footballer when we see one, bro. Listen, I'll call out anyone in any fan base, bruv. Old Don Robbie, bruv, he needs to do some fucking major cardio, bruv, because he's eating too much because of all the money and the brown envelopes he's made, bruv. Do you understand me? Yeah, that fucking melt. He's a melt, bruv. He'll throw anyone under the bus. You fucking shat on Claude. You shat on fucking everyone, man. You lied about DT. You're a fugazi, bruv. Yeah, all you give a shit about is the pound note, but you can't take it with you. It's embarrassing. You know what I mean? You gotta have a bit of dignity and self-respect. You ain't got that, yeah. Anyone who anyone from Chelsea going on Don Robbie, yeah, you should be fucking ashamed, bruv. It's disgusting. Yeah, sponsoring that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Bruv, where 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 the Yeezy, bruv? Where yay, bruv? With the mask on. Do you understand me? Yeah. We're sitting there with a mask on. Yeah. Untouchable. Untouchable. When you can't be bought, you're untouchable. And not only that, you're very dangerous to those who don't like the truth. And that's what we are in the Minerals FC. And just like my member, my Minerals FC Ultra member said. Johnny would never kill himself. Let's have it right. Let's have it right. Tommy T came out. A journalist put out today. A journalist put out today. And we'll, we'll, I'll, I'll enlighten everyone. Uh, from Germany as well. Uh, and he said, let me get it. I did bookmark it. I'm sure I bookmarked it. Uh, where is it? I thought I bookmarked it. Oh no, maybe I, I took a picture. That was it. Here it is. This is this is this, let's just expose Pornstein. Same narrative as Pochettino. Same narrative. Um, but today it broke out. Journalist Raphael Hoggenstein has claimed that one top manager in the game would not be prepared to take over at Chelsea with their current ownership. He told the Athletic that Thomas Tuchel would not be uh, want would not want to return to the club at the end of the season, despite being out of a job in Germany. He says. The defending champions will also need to come back in the Champions League, blah, blah, blah. The Blues are reported doing their due diligence over a number of potential managerial candidates to take over from Pochettino if they decide. Tuchel would not join Chelsea. While many Chelsea fans would love to see Tuchel make a return to Stamford Bridge, Hogenstein, the journalist, has claimed that there is no, there is currently no chance of that happening because Tommy T knows that these lot are clowns. And all these, all these wrongings in the game that fed an agenda on our Tommy T, yeah, on our goat, yeah. So have it right. Won three major trophies within his first thirteen months at Chelsea without his squad, without his DNA, yeah. And got us the two stars. Shout out Chelsea, y'all boys. We see things they'll never see. It's exactly what happened. This is the difference, bruv. Yeah. Big up to save Chelsea Football Club. Let's have it right. Eunice wanted Mount out. He also had slosh pot wet under his desk, under the desk during one of his live streams. Let's have it right. 
the Algerian merchant flip flop. Listen, he was on his own. I called him out. I've called Eunice out, bruv. Everyone knows it. I called anyone out. But he's not bought. He was giving his opinion. And he probably re he regrets it. So have it right. He regrets it. And like most people will regret what they said. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is, bruv. You know? The damage is done. I tried to stop it. I tried to save it. I did with Tuchel. I fought for my life for Tuchel on my platform. My platform just started. It wasn't big enough. If it was at where it was now, we would be landing it. I had to come at anyone or anyone that was coming and feeding the agenda on Thomas Tuchel. Anyone coming at Mount, coming at Havertz, coming at players that are winners at our football club that we should be building around instead of selling, I've got to come for you and I will come for you. So have it right. And Eunice was humble enough to come on this show, bruv, and say I'm right. He was the first one out of all the big accounts. And he's he's the second to to a, a failed actor Jennings in size of his account. He's uh, uh, and a George Benson and all that. Five things we need to know and all that shit, right? And the other football therapy guy, he's a very, you know, he's very fragile, that geezer. Bit of a princess, you know what I'm saying? He needs to land it, bruv. You know, these people need to land the truth, man, but they're too scared to, yeah? And it's Stone Island, Eunice, bruv. Eunice talks minerals, bruv. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. It takes a man to admit you're wrong and to come and join forces. That's respect, bruv. You don't come at Eunice, bruv. He's a general. But a lot of people got too much ego, mate. And, and they don't want to dent their ego, their reputation, so have it right. That's what they're all about, bruv. Yeah. And Declan Rice has scored. Another player we should have bought. It's not good enough. They're almost there. What's their almost be there? How can how can uh, Anini almost be there or or other players almost be there? Are you fucking stupid. Oh, Simon Jordan. Yeah, someone put in the chat what he said because I, I saw it in the chat before I came on and I forgot about that. What did Simon Jordan say? Let's mud him. Let's mud him right now. I don't care what anyone tells me. That's that's just fucking... That is exactly what it is. That's exactly what it is at Chelsea Football Club. Those are the ones running Chelsea Football Club. All of them. So have it right. Um... Julian Lawrence has an agenda on Poch since he was at PSG because he's a PSG fan, right? But he has called, he's been calling it out. He's, look, look, Julian Lawrence has got no allegiance, bruv. He's on ESPN. Gabriel Marcotti, they land it. You know what I'm saying? They say it for what it is and they touch on it. Um... Where is it? Yeah, Eunice is a legend, bruv. You know what I'm saying? He's been in the game a long time, man. You know, respect to him, bruv. You, I don't know slander from the Minnows FC Ultras on Eunice, bruv. Yeah? Where is it? What did Simon Jordan say? Uh... Simon Jordan, here it is. Brighton have an ability 
to turn 5 million footballers into 100 million footballers and Chelsea have an ability to turn 100 million footballers into 5 million footballers. Well, that's compliments to Clown Lake because you're doing the opposite because you're buying players that are not at the stand at Chelsea that need to be at that stand at Chelsea. You know what I'm saying? He's a Bowley, he's a Siri merchant and Bowley merchant. That's what he is. Jordan, because he was an ex-owner of a mid-club, never never run an elite football club. So it's, it's laughable that he's sponsoring these clowns that are elite football club when he hasn't got experience of running an elite football club. And the game's changed since he was an uh, owner at a football club. So have it right. Um, but what, he's mudding the fans, is he? Is he coming at our, us Chelsea supporters? He basically said that the, the supporters need to what? Step back. What's he said? What did Jordan say, bruv? No one's put it in the chat. No one's put it in the chat. Big up to everyone in here. Smash the like button, every single one of you. Hit the subscribe button as well. Hit the subscribe button. We're on the road to 10K. How can you look happy in your videos with this, the shambles it is right now? God of Frogs. All right, let's have a look. Where is it? God of Frogs. All right, so he's mud, he's mudding he's mudding uh, Chelsea. Uh, the owners at Chelsea. He's not sponsoring them. He's not sponsoring them. Yeah, so have it right. He's not sponsoring them. But he has been. He said we'll win the league in a year and a year or two. He's delusional, bro. Apparently, he's saying the supporters need to... Who said it, man? Someone said it. Listen, if Terry if Terry wants to be on the football terrace, he can call me, he can message me, and I'll go on in with one-on-one. -on -one. I'm not going on the platform with other people that talk shit, all right? I ain't there for, to make clicks. I'm there to land the true narrative. So, message to Terry. If he wants me on, he can have me on with him on his own and I'll fucking land the minerals and say it at Chelsea for what it really is. And that's the reality, bro. Otherwise, I ain't on it, man. No chance. Um, yeah, I've already read the quote out, but did he say something about the supporters? Did he say something about the supporters? That's what I want to know. Let me know, guys, in the chat. Let me know. What did it? What did Simon... Let me Google it, man. Maybe it's on... Um, Chelsea fans need to wind their necks in. Are you fucking winding me up? Wind our necks in. This is what I'm saying. You say that quote there about Brighton turning uh, 5 million players, 100 million pay, plan players, and Chelsea 
take uh, five million pound play, uh, hundred million pound players, turn them into five million. You're a fucking waffler, mate. Yeah, wind our necks in. Why don't you wind your fucking neck in? Why don't you wind it in, you parrot, for these clowns? You fucking mid club owner. Yeah, he looks like the fucking. This is America. What's it? What's it called? The, like the Thunderbirds, fucking puppets, man, with the glasses. Yeah. Wind our necks in. What a piss take. Our football, our football club's in a crisis. And you're saying, wind our fucking necks in? How about we wring your neck and bite your fucking ear off? So you can't hear. Maybe do a Hannibal Lecter and rip your tongue off as well so you can't speak no more. Joke, man. He does it definitely, bruv, to just wind the supporters up. That's what he does. He's just a clickbaiter for the for talk talk sport. Yeah. It's talk spunk, man. That's what it is. Talk sport. Talk spunk. Um let me see what else what else was said, because it's um This is what he said. He goes in on Chelsea fans for complaining about an owner who's willing to spend money. Oh, spend it on what? Kids? Epstein FC? Or what, are we, what are we doing here? Yeah? Simon Jordan, don't lie to everyone and be real. Did you go and buy a bunch of 20-year-olds on AI scouting and data and you're sponsoring this shit and he's got a good intention? Oh, I've got great intentions. I've got great intentions on my channel to tell the truth. Their intentions are deceitful, yeah? Criminal, yeah? They're con artists, equity merchant con artists. That's what they are. Let's have it right. Brown Envelopes FC, mate. I'll tell you what we need to do. Someone name me the guy that got arrested by the CIA and FBI for hacking into the White House. And the Oval. We need to get that fella. And we need him hacking into Clown Lake headquarters and completely fuck up their data. Completely just annihilate it, bruv. Infiltrate. Hack like the Matrix, bruv. And get in Michael Barrymore FC. <laughs> oh, fuck, you know. <laughs> yeah, man. They need to go in the swimming pool, mate. Yeah. Um, we need to get that guy. We need to get him. Yeah. And get a top class hacker, bruv. Yeah. 5,000 tennis balls. Let's get the tennis balls out. Let's get everything out, man. Bowling balls, I'd prefer. Let's get bowling balls out. Might do, might knock some more sense into these clowns, mate. They ain't got no sense. It will just knock sense into them. It will knock them out so they fucking ain't, they ain't fucking able to function, bruv. Which is better for us? They'll stop spending money. And they'll they'll probably go. Yeah, the data data says for us to uh, sell the club. Yeah, sell the club. And we see things they'll never see. Let's have it right. We have done for the last what over a year. You know, ever since we started the channel, bruv. Ever since I've been on in the game, bruv. Yeah, let's have it right. He's 15 years old, the hacker. They'll love that then. They'll probably recruit him. They'll probably recruit him and um, present uh, present data to governing bodies to say, look at this great data. We'll sell this to you. Yeah? And it's fraudulent. Can you imagine Gordon Ramsay in the dressing room to all these players? You, your shit, fuck off. Your shit, fuck off. Your shit, fuck off. Continuously, bruv. Yeah? Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> oh, man. There'll be frying pans frying everywhere, bruv. There'll be beans everywhere. Tomahawks, bruv. You know what I'm saying? There'll be tomahawks flying about. Meatloaf. He'd be, be make the best meatloaf, bruv. He'd, he'd make such a good meatloaf that Meatloaf Bowley himself would never step foot out of out of fucking his his uh, chairman's office. He's on twenty million a year because he'd be eating so good. You know what I'm saying? 
you'll forget about signing kindergartens and 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 and, and kids and low wage structures and give it a Siri merchant man. Let him get on the act, man. Maybe put some roofies on there, like uh, the Hangover, like they did uh, Mike Tyson's Tiger, bruv. And just do that to them, man. Every day, the tea lady putting it there, serving that up, serving them minerals. So these guys just fucking just give up. You know what I'm saying? They don't make any decisions, bruv. So have it right. Um, big up to Itis Merch. She says, Johnny... Sing, I would do anything. <laughs> Meatloaf Bowley, let's have it right. And I would do anything for pound notes. And I would do anything for pound notes. And I would do anything for pound notes. Because I love Epstein FC. Let's have it right. Yeah. Um, big up Bartic Minerals says Rudiger Mount Havertz can't a cover Georgie gutted out gutted is not the word Bartic Minerals man gutted is not the word bruv gutted I mean Hannibal Lecter Hannibal Lecter literally Hannibal Lecter bruv you know what I'm saying where he cuts the cuts the head off you get the brain. He's taken the entire brain out of everyone at the football club and implanted Robocop. Yeah? AI. That's what we got. Big up Bartek Minerals, man. Minerals FC Ultra, bruv. Daniel G says, thanks for Kai. You just scored CFC Irrelevant. Fuck you, we're irrelevant. We're the biggest club in London, mate. Yeah? Let's have it right. Where's your European pedigree, my sons? Where are they, goons? Yeah? You got our Kai Havertz, but Kai Havertz won us the two stars. Ain't won you a fucking star. Yeah, let's have it right. So, zip it, zippies. Big up Rebel Rising. He says, what do you, what you say about Alex Goldberg and CFC Mod? CFC Mod's uh, just a bot. He's another, like, iRobot. Um, he's just like a machine that tweets. Probably He probably gets his tweets off the AI uh, database. Because he's just relentless with just writing robotic tweets. He is a robot. Um, and um, he must have so much time to train in the gym and not worry about thinking about what to write on his tweets because he's, he's got AI doing it for him. Um, the guy's a flip-flop merchant, you know, except this guy's not walking on the beach or he's not in, he's not in the sea, mate, yeah? Uh, but on the minerals of sea, he's swimming with the fishes, so have it right, and ratfishes specifically. And goldfish, another one, ratfish, um, this guy, um, you know, I always said what he is. He, he loves a journal on there. He loves connections. Uh, he loves brown nose. He loved to brown nose these owners, especially when Mason Mount was getting fucking absolutely exiled. And this geezer didn't come out on his account and so-called, you know, was his biggest fan, was a fagazi. Um, and on top of that, he has to. He's back to the corner. He has to land it now. It's too obvious. It's clear as day, crystal clear. Like diamonds are forever, forever, forever. Diamonds are forever. Everyone put your hands in the sky. Let's have it right. Yeah. Because we are the diamonds on the Minerals FC. Um, and we're not rough either. Or maybe a little bit. Um, but yeah, Alex Goldberg, he's, he's fucking... He has to jump on the minerals gravy train, bruv. Let's have it right. Yeah. He has to jump on the minerals gravy train. Yeah. La, la, la. Wait till I get my money right. Oh, you can't tell me nothing, bruv. Yeah. Let's have it right. You can't. No one can tell me nothing. What I already know. I told you lot. I'm the Slim Mineral Shady, bruv. Eight miles. Spit on the mic. Yeah. I'm the exorcist on the mic and I exile every one of you, bruv. And I've been doing it for 24 seven because I knew the truth. I don't talk shit. I don't lie. I've got no need to lie. So anything that comes out, I already know it. I'm just going to sit back like I'm Snoop Dogg like that. Yeah. Just sitting back like that. Chilling, chilling manilling, bruv. Yeah. That's all I have to do. I don't have to do nothing. The work's getting done. The work's getting done. On the timeline, the supporters are landing it. So have it right. Yeah. 
Say goodbye, say goodbye, Hollywood. Say goodbye, say goodbye, Hollywood. Yeah, let's have it right. Yeah. Be Rabbit. I'm J Rabbit, bruv. J Rabbit. Let's have it right. Everyone's landing it because they have to land it. Yeah. They have to land it, bruv. Everyone has to land it on the because the Minnows FC is not. We're not just a channel, bruv. We're a movement. We're a movement for Chelsea. We're there to, to defend our football club at all costs. That's what we do. We're not here to, 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 to brand those and get involved with the brand envelopes. We're not there, bruv. We go against them, man, because they're against us. So have it right. Don't be deceived, bruv. Don't be deceived. Don't think that they're there for us, bruv. Yeah, King Cliff. I'm Midlow Bowley. Mm. And I want more meatloaf. I want 20 million a year. 20 million a year as a chairman. Mm. Hey. You know what I'm saying? Um, we love, see, we match and loves to play sporting director. He loves sporting director. Hey. Hey. Um, so, um, <coughs> listen, get them all in the bin, every single one of them. Get them in the bin, bruv. Listen, <laughs> that's true. That is true. You know, uh, Meatloaf Bowling, Siri Merchant, they bought Enzo and Casado, and they said to Pochettino, you got to play him. He goes, oh, otherwise they'll kill me. Because why? What are Enzo and Casado uh, and Nkunku to these clown legs? They are my precious. My precious, they're going to save us. They are the gold. They're the golden minerals. Yeah. Where are the golden minerals? Yeah. Because I ain't seen no one cutting shape celebrating. I ain't no seen no balloons. <sighs> There's no balloons. Yeah. Nothing's flying high, bruv. In fact, it's fucking like, I'll tell you what it's like. And, and I feel for it. It's like 9-11 at Chelsea. It's bad. We've been sh completely, absolutely destroyed. Blown up, bro. Blown up. Yeah. <coughs> shambolic. Absolute shambolic. Yeah. Shambles. We won the Champions League two and a half, three years ago. Club World Cup. Super League. Yeah. Always getting top four. Look at us now. We can't even get out of fucking mid-table. <coughs> we got beat by Veneer Merchants kids you never heard of, who are younger than the players that we bought. <clears throat> um, they sold everything elite out of our football club. Let's have it right. So big up to everyone, man. Smash that like button. Every single one of you smash to pieces the like button. It's big up, Curse. It's, it's ground zero, bro. <laughs> you think Roman still watches Chelsea games? Uh, he, he loves Chelsea. Of course he's watching it, but now he's probably thinking, nah, this is a disgrace. I, Roman never picked these guys. No chance, mate. A Russian selling to Americans. We could have had Sir Jim Ratcliffe, who'd been in the, in the 11th hour. We could have had uh, Sir Broughton and uh, Co. Sebastian Co. who are Chelsea supporters. No, can't have that. We could have had the Turkish fella, self-made billionaire. No, can't have that. Rain Group says you got to have Clown Lake. Clown Lake's the one. Yeah. We want to completely destroy Chelsea Football Club. No, I didn't want Candy Man. I didn't want the Candy Man. We could have had Saudi Media Group. Exactly. That's who I wanted. Everyone wanted Saudi Media Group. Everyone wanted Saudi Media Group. Do you know what I'm saying? So that is what it is. Half time. Is it half time? And it's 5 nil. Fucking hell, bro. Is it clicking now? It's clicking at Arsenal, is it? Is it clicking at Arsenal? It's 
Someone else made this. He's just tagged me in it. Big up to you, fella. That's not bad, is it? It's not a bad start. We need more of this getting around the timeline. Yeah? More of this around the timeline. Havertz was never the problem, bruv. Never. Never the problem. All right, so let's go. Let me drink something, man. Let's play this, guys, because we went on national radio and we said this. We landed it, yeah? We told these lot, man. We told these lot. Oh, here it is. This is what I wanted to put up. Spends half, to, uh, spends 10% of the payroll, wins almost as much as those who spend far more and has a very, very stable mid-market, mid-table, very profitable club. <laughs> mid-market, mid-table. Oh, fuck me. Right? And um, this is their company house. And it says, Chelsea FC Holdings Limited. Blue Co. 22, Midco. <laughs> Blue Co. Midco. Because they are mid. They're as mid as you like. Yeah? They're as mid as you like. Boop. There we see. Mid market. Where is it? Let me... Mid market, mate, mid table, and then we got mid co. Mid co. Uh, Tony Bloom looks like, uh, if we're talking, they, these clown legs think they're in Batman, you're talking, he looks like the fucking penguin, mate. You know? And he's robbing, he's robbing clown lake. You robbing clown lake, mate. Yeah, big up Neil. The government decided who our who our owners were. Straw man minerals. All right. Let's go here. Yeah. All right, where is it? Let's put this one up. I would do anything for pound notes. Yeah, let's do it. Meatloaf, eat this. And I know you've met uh, many of the staff members as well. And although this club is a huge commercial power, is this investment for you more about heart than money? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not interested in the financial aspects of this investment at all, really, because I make, you know, I make enough money in chemicals and oil and gas. Really, I don't. It's not a. This is not a financial investment. It's. A, it's. It's. An, you know. It's because I'm interested in um, seeing Manchester United being successful again. It hasn't been successful the last eleven years, but it needs to get back to where it should be, which is at the top of the game. And I know. He why? Someone explain to me, why have we not got this owner at our football club? He bid for our football club. I wanted this guy. Why the fuck 
did we get him at Chelsea Football Club? That is how you speak when you take over a football club. Yeah? He's not interested about making money. He's made enough money in the game. He's a billionaire. He could live the rest of his life spending 10 million a day and he still wouldn't spend all the money he's fucking got. We've got equity merchants, clowns. Yanks come from Moneyball. This guy's a football man. Roman was a football man. And this guy's walking in, getting all the football decisions with the Glazers who just want to cash in their money. They just want their fucking cash. That's what they want. Sign me off. Sign me off. Yeah. Well, let's have it right. I mean, it's not wrong, is it? Really? It's not It's not wrong at all. Um, but I want to bring this one up. I forgot to mention this. Um, Chelsea have been ordered by a tribunal to pay the Seagull merchants up to 7.6 million for two wonder kids, Zach, Zach Sturge and Mecca, who are 16 years old. 16 years old. And they've got to pay money. Yeah. So they're going younger. They're going even younger, these fucking clowns. They're going younger. You know, if we went to Sheffield United, we'll probably fucking draw the game. You know, that's that about to sum us up. Oh, man, what a shambles, bruv. <laughs> they might as well, they might as well hire Bill Gates at this rate. You know what I'm saying? They're a B Tech Bill Gates wannabe, mate. <coughs> Listen, it is what it is. But big up, guys. Respect to everyone in here. Smash the like button. Hit the subscribe button. I want every single one of you to put all your comments down below. Respect to every single one of you supporting the channel. We landed minerals today, and we're going to continue landing minerals. But big up to everyone supporting the channel, man. As always, guys, you know the deal. Yeah? We see things they'll never see. As always, the circus is continuing, but we can stop the circus. We can get the clowns out. Big up to everyone and respect. And as always, up the Chelsea, up the Middles FC. Let's go.